Hello, Facebook community. I'm Christina Grady Watts with the ESC of Central Ohio, and I'm joining you live from Columbus State Community College's um, Workforce Development Center. And I am thrilled to be joined by Keith Coates, the Director of K-12 Partnerships, and Trisha Bradley, Assistant Director of K-12 Partnerships, and Beth Karuna, Director of Teaching and Learning for K-12 Partnerships. So today we're gonna to delve into the, wor the world of College Credit Plus. So whether you're an experienced professional or at the beginning of your journey, um, this is a chance to engage, learn, and foster connections. If you have any questions for us, don't hesitate to drop, to drop those questions in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer those. So without delay, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this conversation. Um, before we dig into programming, will you tell us a little bit about Columbus State Community College? Sure. Thanks, Christina. Thanks for having us. Um, here at Columbus State, we serve approximately 28,000 credit-earning students this fall. Uh, Columbus State, we call it the front door for higher education here in Central Ohio. Uh, we serve students of all ages at Columbus State, um, and we offer dozens of degree and certificate granting programs uh, that enable students to enter their career upon completion, or transfer afterward to complete a bachelor's degree. Um, our College Credit Plus program, which our team works with, is the largest in the state, serving over 8,200 students this fall who are taking 41,000 credit hours. So we're really proud of the program, and our team works really hard to uh, give these students these opportunities. Yeah, that's awesome. So what partnerships or opportunities have you the most excited right now? Oh, I can speak to that a little bit. I'd say for our department and K-12 partnerships, we're extremely excited about the students and partners that we get to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we currently partner with over 120 school districts throughout Ohio um, and collaborate with these districts to offer uh, programs for the students via our College Credit Plus offerings um, and K-12 partnerships programming. Um, more broadly, when we look at Columbus State, as a whole, we are very proud to celebrate partnerships that we have with organizations that are really answering the economic needs of the community. So we have partnerships with Ohio Health and are partnering with them in their efforts to double the number of trained professionals in high demand healthcare careers. And then of course, um, with Intel, who's partnering with Columbus State to prepare students and working professionals with the knowledge and skills that they need to enter into the emerging semiconductor manufacturing industry that will be soon here in Central Ohio. Yeah, that's fantastic. I've read a little bit about that um, opportunity. It seems um, like a very great opportunity. Um, let's talk a little bit about Third Space. It's in its fourth year. Can you tell us what this course is and why it was developed? Sure, um, I can go ahead and do that. Um, Third Space English is a course that kind of originated with kind of the germ of an idea in 2018 that we wanted to figure out what does it mean to be college ready in English? Because we know that Composition One is a gateway course and that if students don't place into that, they don't have available a lot of other courses to take. So we gathered together some teachers from um, Central Ohio high schools and some of our English faculty from Columbus State and just started talking about it. Um, really rapidly, what we came to was that we need a course. We need something that kind of serves as a gateway, a bridge between um, high school and college. And that was how Third Space English was born. Um, then it was developed over kind of those next couple of years with the idea of providing access to students who have been traditionally underserved in their education, um, focused with a culturally relevant pedagogy that really foregrounds students' lives, their, their own experiences, their voices, um, classroom community, and a lot of collaboration. And we were able to pilot that then in autumn of 21, and then we're actually starting our fourth year now. Um, and we have three years of data on how students have done in third space and then moving on from third space. So how does that, how, do, how is that the bridge to then um, a college level English class? We have a waiver with the Ohio Department of Higher Education for two, two local school districts that if students complete third space English with an A, B, or C, if they succeed with an A, B, or C, that they can automatically take English 1100 or Composition 1. Um, and so that's, that's enabled students, that's opened some doors to students who maybe didn't have the grade point to do that, 
Um, it's open doors to students who didn't necessarily believe they could do that, yeah. who didn't find themselves on track to be taking college credit plus classes. So oftentimes the way it's worked is the, the third space English class is taught by a high school instructor. Um, the curriculum, as, as we said, was co-developed by high school and um, college faculty, which I think was really important because I was hearing kind of everybody's voices about what students needed. Um, taught by high school English faculty in the fall and then um, English 1100 usually offered in the spring. And students have done really well. Um, the overall success rate for, I just want to make sure I get this right, um, in English 1100 after taking third space is about 83.3% success rate. Um, that's a little bit lower than um, just, like, just regular CCP students, but those are students who have been on track to go to college. Right. And these are students that not necessarily were. So we're actually really happy with that number. And it's much higher than if they had graduated from high school and come and um, taken classes. Um, our, our students on campus have about a 61% success rate. So that's a lot higher for our third space English students. And we also just get a lot of good feedback from students who feel kind of seen and heard for the first time. Um, <coughs> so is that class offered in on Columbus State's campus, or it's offered in the high school? It's in the high school. Okay. It's in the high school. All right. Um, I know our follow-up question to that was, what impact is this course having on students? But you kind of already touched on that. Was there anything else you wanted to, to add? Um, one thing that, you know, we were just looking at um, the most recent numbers, and it has improved. The success rate has improved. It's like the lowest it was was 79%. Um, and I think this year alone, it was 88%. Yes. And you know, I think that's that's a factor of we've got teachers who are teaching it for the third year, third or fourth year, and you know it gets better. Yeah. We have people who are working on the curriculum and keeping trying to improve it, keeping trying to you know find opportunities for for students. So, so yeah, we're optimistic about it. Yeah, that's great. That's a great opportunity for students. Um, let's transition to the career technical space. What opportunities are available to students? So Columbus State does partner with our career technical career centers throughout Central Ohio. And students can earn college credit to advance their academic mission in several ways. Um, of course, they can do College Credit Plus, or they can take courses either at one of our campuses, online, or through their high schools. But they can also articulate that credit over to Columbus State. So if they're in a, a program at their career center that Columbus State or other partner colleges have an agreement with, those credits can then transfer over and apply to um, whatever degree program or certificate granting program that student is interested in. Um, which ultimately saves students time and money. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, I've, I've read a little bit about the Earn and Learn program. Will you tell us a little bit about that? I can do that. Sure. sure. <laughs> um, so this is not a program that we K-12 partnerships uh, interact with very much. It's typically open to our traditional student population. However, we can share a little bit of information just about the program in general. Um, essentially, it is a program that is very in demand by students because it allows them to become a part of an organization that where they can earn a wage while still learning and progressing in their academics in their chosen area. So um, obviously, in a competitive job market, when you have that type of experience as a student, it's going to open additional doors for you um, and can be really advantageous for students as they are navigating company culture, things like that, and then advantageous for the companies as they're seeking to grow a pipeline of students who can be prepared um, to do that type of work. Um, so Columbus State continues to work with a lot of companies to develop these opportunities um, and to provide that seamless transition into the workforce for those students. Um, and like I said, most of these opportunities are available for our traditional population, but certainly as our College Credit Plus students matriculate to become traditional students here, those opportunities open up for them and are great ones for them to explore. Thanks for sharing. Sure. Um, I'm going to just throw, throw a question at you. No. Before we started recording, um, we were talking about that cafe um, yeah. next door on your campus and um, the innovation kitchen, which is really cool. Um, do you want to share just a little bit about what you told me about that opportunity? Sure. So uh, <laughs> over in Mitchell Hall, which is the center for our uh, culinary programs here at Columbus State, we have a working coffee shop and also a working full service restaurant. A blend is the coffee shop, Degrees is the restaurant, and those are living labs for students to learn, earn a wage, 
and also progress in their academic studies all within the encapsulated space here at Columbus State. And so they are working active businesses um, that are pretty popular in the community, both to our, our folks that work and live and learn here at Columbus State, but also people just in the community. Um, and they have really good food. You would never, you would never <laughs> yeah. know that these people are learning. Um, they have full service staff and instructors that work there as well to teach these students, but they're learning how to operate a business, learning how to make the food, how to succeed in a culinary environment. Um, and we're, we're really kind of proud of it here at Columbus State. It's been open, I think, since right before the pandemic. So uh, just a handful of years, but uh, it's a pretty popular space over there in Mitchell Hall. Yeah, that's. I just think that's so cool. And it's easy to get to. You can just park right in front of um, the Workforce Development Center and walk over. So um, support those students. Um, yes. One thing I would add just specifically to K-12 partnerships is it is a goal of ours to bring career awareness opportunities to students really even in the middle school oh, yeah. age group. Um, so to that end, we do have um, virtual reality headsets that we can often bring out to schools and there are simulations there within the headsets that help students to really um, feel like they are experiencing a certain career path. Um, like there's a medical one mm -hmm. where <laughs> you really feel like you're in there doing some sort of medical procedure. So it's really interesting for them to see and just going to open their mm -hmm. eyes, I think, to different opportunities that may, they may not have even considered before. And so bringing some of those career awareness pieces earlier on to students in their educational journey becomes important and is a goal of ours as a department to continue to foster those types yeah, of opportunities. Absolutely. We've seen a lot of uh, middle schools interested in, you know, looking for opportunities yes. to, to bring that exposure to students. So if there is a, um, let's say there's a school district listening right now that wants mm -hmm. to get plugged in and like, oh, I'm interested in these VR headsets or, yeah. you know, how, how could they go about getting in contact with that program? Yeah, there's actually a form linked on our website under the College Credit Plus um, section, and I believe it's under the Info Nights heading, but there's a form there where a interested school could go in and fill out and place a request okay. for an event like that where we could potentially go out to their site or potentially there may be an opportunity for them to come here for some programming. So yeah. that's definitely out there. Yeah, that's great. And we'll go ahead, um, if you're watching this video, we'll be sure to locate that link and drop it um, in the, the notes or the comments so you can access that. Keith, I saw you make a note. Were you going to add anything? Nope, I just changed the word. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was being on um, So what do you envision for the future of Columbus State Community College? Where is it going? We're proud to be Central Ohio's, um, like I said, front door to, to higher education. And as we all know, Central Ohio's economy is continuing to evolve. And so Columbus State is continuing to, to evolve to meet the needs of our people and our industries here in Central Ohio. Um, so for high school students or recent high school graduates or working professionals looking to make a career change or just get more training, um, or even just someone looking to jump into one of the emerging industries that's coming to Central Ohio, uh, we feel that Columbus State's here to help anybody at any season of their learning make a difference and take that next step. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, my children have all benefited from Columbus State CCP um, opportunities. So thank you guys for what you're doing. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you're listening, thank you very much for joining in. And if you are interested in highlighting a partnership or opportunity at your school or business, um, there is a form that is in the show notes that you can fill out and we'll be in contact with you. Have a great day.